Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike, and today I have a very, very special video presentation for all of you. Uh, you can see I'm in the middle of doing some renovations here, but I wanted to take an opportunity and share this with all of you because this is like a big thing for me. Uh, you know, a lot of collectors have uh, one or two special toys that they had when they were a kid or that they wanted and they never got and later in life they're they're able to uh, find it and you know this is one of those items when I was little I always wanted and was never able to get and honestly I don't know why I haven't purchased one previous uh, to this one because I've had different opportunities I, I've seen them you know on eBay and things like that but I passed them up for some reason. And recently I just uh, really became intrigued by this particular brand again. I really wanted to uh, get one of these in as close to pristine condition as I could find. And I think that's what I've got. At least the seller says that it is. So we're gonna take a moment, open this box and show everyone what's on the inside. One of the things that kind of makes me feel good about this purchase is how quickly the seller shipped it out and the fact that they used FedEx ground and not US mail and it got here in like two days from Illinois. I appreciate that. You can always tell when you're buying something off of eBay what kind of seller you're dealing with just by how they package something. If it's someone that's just in a hurry to make money, they're not really going to take the time to, to package something in a manner that protects the item that you're buying, particularly when we're talking about collectible toys. And I know for me at least, that prevents me from buying from a person again if they don't package something like this is. So it looks pretty secure. laser tag uh, I had the smaller Starlight pistol we had a, a small retail chain store that was in North Carolina South Carolina and I think Georgia called Jones J-O-N-E-S it was owned by a uh, pastor in the Church of God conference and it was a very popular uh, retail store uh, back in the 80's and I think in the late 90's to early 2000's uh, they closed down, but it was very, very popular. We had two here in our town when our town was uh, more prosperous than what it is now. There were a lot of businesses here. Uh, the economy was really good here at that time, and they sold laser tag. And I actually, uh, my great grandmother purchased for me the Starlight pistol uh, kit, which included the uh, the pistol, a holster, uh, the star sensor, and the uh, chest harness that the star sensor attached to with a hook and loop Velcro. I saw these and always wanted one and was never able to, to get one. And um, here it is. I, I'm i just blown away. <laughs> because this is something that I always, always wanted and never had the opportunity to get. And this one was sold at KB Toy Stores. The original price was $49.99. Uh, it sold for $29.99. And it does have a, as the box says, a 300 foot range. It has a uh, single shot mode and a burst mode. Uh, and one of the highlights about this is the battery compartment, which was much more secure than on the Starlight pistol. But uh, there's a World of Wonder proof of purchase sticker. There's the back of the box. 
Uh, it explains what all the controls are, which I've never seen, don't know anything about. The only thing that I knew about was the extendable, the collapsible stock. Uh, and if you're wondering why it's in white, the Starlight pistols were uh, almost all done in black. There was only one of these ever produced in black, and it's sitting in Kentucky in a laser tag museum. It's all loaned to them by the individual who owns it. But there was an incident, I think out in California, where uh, it was either a, a young child or a teenager had a Starlight pistol in them law enforcement mistook it for a real gun and, and I think they wind up uh, shooting the, the child and, and killing him and after that Worlds of Wonder made changes to uh, their production when all of these were done in white and I think they also switched over uh, to the Starlight pistols being in white just before they ceased production. My understanding is there are only six Starlight pistols in circulation that are this color. Only six were ever made, to my knowledge. Um, but this, this is just fascinating. So we're going to uh, open this up. And yeah, you know, the box has some damage, but it's from 1987. I mean, I, I'm not going to complain. piece is just just another foam insert yeah just another foam insert I'm really surprised how good a condition this toy is in. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot. There's maybe one little mark here, but he said there were no chips or cracks on it. Uh, the controls look okay. The sights look okay on it. Um, stock extends okay. I don't think he left any batteries in here. I'm going to have to get batteries to go in it, I think. It's going to have what I think are four C batteries, if I'm not mistaken. This compartment looks kind of big. It might be four D batteries. So what I'm going to do is pause the video. I'm going to go in here and get some batteries and come back and we're going to see what this thing does. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, so I got batteries in the unit, and uh, we're going to take a look at it. The uh, Starlight Pro rifle takes four C-size batteries, whereas the uh, Starlight pistol, I think, took, I think it was four AA or six. I can't remember. Uh, but this this is just phenomenal, and you can see it's got a retractable and uh, stock on it. Uh, the stock collapses in, and uh, it's got this adjustable shoulder strap. The strap and the uh, the sling swivels, they're all original. And you can see here that, you know, they're not made out of real sturdy plastic. The gun is. And this is something that is really reminiscent of toys in the 80s. When, when toys were made out of plastic, they weren't made out of cheap plastic. Uh, most companies, including Worlds of Wonder, did not cut corners with quality control. Uh, everything they made uh, was sound. And as you can see, the upper part has a carry handle built into it. And from here to here is the actual uh, sight. It's not easy to see, uh, at least not for me. Uh, the speaker is right here. There's a volume control for the speaker here. 
Uh, the range of the uh, laser beam can be adjusted here, and it will go out to 300 feet. Uh, it'll reach 300 meters. And here's the uh, horizontal adjustment for the uh, reticle, and the vertical adjustment for the reticle is here. And if you've never seen one of these before, uh, when you depress the trigger halfway and take the slack out of it, on a laser tag uh, gun, the reticle lights up. And the Starlight pistol, it was just a red dot. Uh, on the Starlight Pro rifle, it's two horizontal lines. And in between the lines would be your target. Um, it's a really, really nice gun. It runs off of 4C batteries. And again, that's something from the 80s. You know, a lot of 80s toys ran off of 9-volt uh, batteries, C batteries, and D batteries. Uh, and today's toys don't. Most of them take AAA and AA. Uh, a lot of them take button cell batteries now. And, you know, to me, that, that's just another thing that really speaks highly of the quality uh, that we got of toys out of the 80s. And, you know, the one thing the box didn't include, of course, was the instruction sheet. I would have liked to have had that because it's more like a, a blueprint. It's almost the size of this poster I have on the wall. Um, but nonetheless, it's in really great condition. There's no chips, no cracks, no breaks. Uh, and as you can see, the it works. It lights up. And that light will go off uh, in just a minute. And you can adjust it to rapid fire where it will fire short bursts. Um, and this is just a really, really phenomenal toy. Um, honestly, I just am so, so happy to have this. And I've already bid on another one that does include the instructions and everything. And it's at a really, really great price. I pay $120 for this. Uh, the seller had it at like 140 or best offer. I offered him 120 and I have no complaints because it's well worth it. I mean, when it originally sold, it sold for $50. Uh, and on the box, let's see. January 87 was the date that it was produced. Uh, so it's just, uh, yeah, it's... It's awesome. There's a few light scratches here and there. Um, there's something that looks like a little bit of dirt or something there, but I can clean that up. But yeah, I think this is going to have its own window box, and it's going to be displayed on the on the wall. Uh, <laughs> I'm just tickled to death to have this thing. Um, it's just amazing all the way around. And there's an adjustment here for the. Uh, uh, the laser beam to make it wide or narrow that's a little bit loose but um, you know that's that's not a big issue um, and one of the things about that uh, on the uh, starlight pistol it had an adjustment under here that would change the beam from wide to narrow and when you're talking about a laser like this you know the further out the beam goes the larger it's going to get onto the target uh, but if you're increasing the range you want it as tight as it can possibly be uh, so that it will go further out and, and actually strike the, the star sensor. And there's other uh, other laser tag products that were included in the line before it was canceled. You know, you had your Starlight, your Starlight Pro Rifle. You had the star sensor, uh, and you got six hits before you were out each time it hit. It had a light that would go back and forth on it, and it would light up. And I'll show that when I get that one uh, in the mail. Uh, you had a star base that was the same thing. There was a cap and a helmet that had integrated star sensors on them. So you could have multiple sensors on you uh, instead of just a chest mounted one. Uh, a lot of people wore a star sensor on the belt. I never got to play with anyone. You know, I never got to play laser tag with anyone. Uh, I grew up an only child. I didn't have any friends in school. I was bullied all the time in school. Uh, so that really made me become an introvert. You know, I turned inward, and my toys were and are my world. You know, even as an adult, uh, I'm 41 years old. I've been diagnosed with uh, high-functioning autism and a form of schizophrenia. And, you know, I, I've had a really difficult life and still do to uh, one extent or the other. Uh, it's been very difficult for me to maintain employment and uh, 
relationships and things because people don't people don't always know how to take me and a lot of people aren't accepting of my condition you know and and that's the way it is with a lot of people that live with autism you know people just don't want to take the time to not be selfish you know and invest time in people but you know for me um i've never i wanted friends you know but never had a lot uh but my toys were and are you know my friends so to speak you know i, I my world is this and you know that makes me happy and it really makes me happy to, to have this in hand and you know <laughs> i probably won't put this down anytime soon uh, i'm just tickled to have this um, i'm gonna clean it up a little bit and uh, i'm just gonna enjoy this and, and i wanted to wanted to share this with everyone because this is really really special to me i'm really excited to have this in hand and uh, I've seen one guy that actually repainted this to look like a phaser rifle from Star Trek. I'm probably going to buy one to do that with. Um, because, it, you know, the, the, the design of it is very, very similar to the phaser rifle from uh, the Next Generation films and uh, some of the later uh, iterations of it. But um, it's a lot cheaper to buy one of these and repaint it than it is to buy a four or five, six hundred dollar prop that's been 3D printed that could really break uh, when all I'm going to use it for is cosplay. Uh, so yeah, but laser tag, Worlds of Wonder, if you don't know anything about it, look it up, read up on it, uh, visit the website for the museum. There's a lot of fascinating facts on there and information that you'll see and uh, a lot of things that are in that museum that uh, people aren't aware of that were products uh, associated with or, or produced by laser tag and just the evolution of the company what happened with it um, really sad that they went out of business you know there were a lot of great toy companies back in the 80s uh, that kids today have never heard of you know there were toys that I grew up with from the 80s uh, even as far back as the 60s toys that I inherited that um, kids have never heard of them. and we just you know I had so much fun when I was little you know with the toys that I had and th this was just one of those things on my wish list that I wanted uh, I remember one year I got the huge uh, set from Photon that included two helmets two guns a chest mounted thing but the Photon guns were tied in you know to uh, uh, the sensors and the harness and all that stuff Still a really great toy, but not as good as laser tag. So there you have it, the World of Wonder Starlight Pro Rifle. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the, the video. Uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, uh, like this one, follow and subscribe. Check out my Facebook page, Dark Horizon Creations. It's been a very long time since I've done any video reviews. I'm slowly starting to get back into things. As soon as I get through renovating and repainting this room, uh, there's going to be a lot more products and things to come when I have the space to review them. Uh, I have more tables and things set up. I've got one here and one behind the camera right now. Uh, I've got some changes and things I have to do in here to be able to review some of the products that I have in mind. So thank you guys for watching the video. Stay tuned. There's more to come.